Dear students, welcome to the lecture series on basic electronics. I am Rohit Mathur, assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at Maripal University, Jaipur. In this video, we would be continuing with our discussion on analysis of clipper circuits. In this video lecture, we would be analyzing biased serial clipper circuits consisting of ideal diode. Learning objectives. By the end of this video lecture, you should be able to list the steps involved in predicting the output of a biased series clipper circuit. You should be able to identify conditions under which diode will be forward biased or for which the diode will be reversed biased. You should be able to select appropriate diode equivalent circuit to use under forward bias condition or for reverse bias condition. You should be able to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to given series clipper circuit. You should be able to compare and contrast not just the working of series and shunt clipper circuits but also their respective output wave shapes. Let us first revise the parameters pertaining to ideal diode under D on and D off conditions. Under D on condition, VD is equal to 0 volt and ID is equal to forward current through the diode which is limited by the circuit, thus making RD equal to 0 ohm. Therefore, the ideal diode is short circuit for the region of conduction. And under D off condition, VD is equal to reverse voltage across the diode and ID is equal to the reverse current of 0 mA, thus making RD equal to infinite. Therefore, the ideal diode is open circuit in the region of non-conduction. Our analysis of the biased series clipper circuit is based on three assumptions. First, the value of the current limiting resistor R is negligible and is therefore not considered in the circuit. Second, the diode under consideration is an ideal diode with cut-in voltage of 0 volt and forward resistance of 0 ohm. Third, the magnitude of the peak of the input signal Vm is more than that of the bias voltage V used in the circuit. Let us recap the sequence of steps introduced in the previous video lecture. First, divide the page in two sides and label them as D on and D off sides. Second, find the range of the magnitude of the input signal waveform for which diode is on and for which diode is off. Also, note down the decision making voltage. Third, redraw the circuit with diode equivalent circuit for D on and D off conditions. Fourth, write the output KVL for D on and D off circuits. Fifth, redraw the input waveform with dashes instead of a solid line. Sixth, mark the decision making voltage on the graph. Seventh, mark the D on and D off region on the graph. Eighth, Use the KVL equations obtained in step 4 to draw the final output wave shape. Here is a sample question whose output signal wave shape we need to predict. Note down this circuit and the given input signal in your notebook and try to predict the output wave shape by yourself. You may pause the video and resume it once you are ready with your answer. The most crucial part of the analysis is step 2, where we first determine the decision making voltage. Then we determine the range of values of the input signal waveform for which diode is on and for which diode is off. Let us begin. If there is no input applied, then the voltage at point A is 0 volt. 
since the other end of the load resistance R is grounded. On the other hand, the voltage at point B is minus V volt since the negative terminal of the DC source is connected to this point. Please observe, point A is towards the N side of the diode and point B is towards the P side of the diode. Therefore, the potential at N side is higher than the potential at the P side. Thus, making the diode reverse biased. Now, if the input is applied to the circuit, what should be the value of the input for which effective potential at point B will become same as potential at point A, that is 0 volt? The answer is Vi should be equal to plus V volt, that is magnitude of input should be equal to the bias voltage but with opposite sign. Mark this voltage on the graph. This is actually our decision making voltage. And as we can see that when the input signal attains magnitude above plus V volt diode D is forward biased. And when the input signal assumes value less than plus V volt the diode is reversed biased. Therefore, we can say that diode is on as long as Vi is between plus V and Vm and diode is off when the input signal lies between plus V and minus Vm. Let us begin our analysis of the given circuit. Step 1. We divide the page into two sides and label them as D on and D off sides. Step 2. We write the conditions for D on and D off obtained in the previous slide. Step 3. We redraw the circuit with diode equivalent circuit for D on and D off condition. Step 4. We write the KVL for D on and D off conditions for the equivalent circuits. Step 5. We redraw the input waveform with dashes instead of a solid line. Step 6. We mark the decision making voltage on the graph. Step 7. We mark the D on and D off regions on the graph. Step 8. Now, using the output side KVLs obtained in step 4, we draw the final output wave shape. Let us begin by plotting D off condition first. The diode is off as long as the input voltage is less than plus V volt. Therefore, we get a constant line from here to here and from this point to this point. Now for D on condition, V output is equal to V i minus V. Therefore, the entire positive peak shifts down with new peak at V m minus V volt. The wave shape in red is the desired output. Now predict the outputs of the circuits shown below for the given input signal. Then comment on the output wave shapes for each circuit. Thank you for your time. Happy learning.